Welcome to this short demonstration of Cirrus Data's purpose-built appliance for data migration. Data Migration Server, DMS for short, allows you to transparently intercept any SAN infrastructure without downtime. Once inserted, DMS discovers the entire SAN, allowing LUNs to be paired with the destination array for migration. Migrations projects follow a simple three-step process – insertion, migration, and cutover. In this demonstration, we will focus on the migration phase. With DMS Intuitive Graphical User Interface, setting up migration has never been easier. With DMS' ability to auto-allocate destination storage, Policy-driven migration sessions are simple to define and easy to deploy. The DMS Migration Dashboard allows you to monitor every step of the migration process. All migration sessions are listed in a tabular fashion for easy review. To start a migration, simply click the New Migration button to bring up the Migration Wizard. Step 1. Select the LUNs to migrate. DMS gives you the option to select individual LUNs, LUNs grouped by host or all LUNs within the logical set of hosts. Step 2. Choose the type of migration to perform. DMS offers local or remote migration. Local migrations are typically performed within the same data center. Remote migrations enable data center relocation over a native TCP IP using secure and optimized delta block transport. In this case, we will be performing a local migration. Step 3. Choose the destination LUNs target for migration. LUNs can be manually provisioned or auto-allocated using the integrated EMC Unity plugin. For this demonstration, we will select the auto-allocation option which will initiate the storage plugin connector wizard. First, select the array targeted for migration, in this case EMC Unity. Next, enter the IP address username and password for the target array. Select the Connect button to authenticate. Once connected, a device template list will be provided. Device templates are predivided on the target array. Each template is pre-configured with LUN attributes to meet the requirements of the migration set. Specific LUN attributes include pools and tiers. After a device template is selected, choose the capacity expansion. Capacity expansion provides the capability to create destination LUNs larger than the source LUNs. Capacity expansion is selected as a percentage of the original source LUN. For this demonstration, we will choose to increase the size of the source LUNs by 100%. Click Start Allocation to begin the auto-allocation process. During the allocation process, DMS will create the destination LUNs on the Unity array based on the specified device template and capacity expansion parameters. From the Unisphere GUI, we can see the destination LUNs have been created on the Unity array. The destination LUNs use the same logical names as those in the DMS GUI and are automatically LUN masked to the DMS appliance. DMS automatically pairs the selected source LUNs with the auto-allocated target LUNs. Step 4. Provide a name for the migration session. Select the time to start the migration. For this demonstration, we are selecting thin to prevent zero block copied. The auto resync parameter defined 
the interval at which each synchronization is triggered after prior synchronization has completed. This demonstration we will select the auto resync interval to be 60 minutes. The migration block size defines the size of each read from the source array. For local migration, 1 gigabyte is the default. Step 5. The migration schedule dialog box enable calendar-based definitions for quality of service. Start by picking the customizable calendar used specifically for this migration session. Calendars can be defined with specific workdays, weekends and holidays. For the application being migrated, migration aggressiveness can be tuned to be non-disruptive, matching the SLA of the application. Notice for periods when migration should not occur, we have omitted the time window from the migration scheduler. Step 6. License transaction. Finally, if you are satisfied with the selected migration session parameters, click Finish. The addressable size of the source LUNs will be subtracted from the licensed capacity. The migration session will kick off and can be monitored from the migration dashboard. Thank you for taking the time to view our DMS migration example. For further information, please contact